All right, now in this video, let's take a look at 10 different ways or 10 different methods to take screenshot on the Samsung Galaxy phones. Yes, this sounds crazy. We have got more than 10 different ways to take screenshot and that is the beauty of One UI on Samsung Galaxy phones. This is the most versatile and feature rich OS based on Android on any Android phone today. So let's go ahead. First one is of course the basic one. Press the volume down bar and the side key to take a screenshot. Second simple method is to palm swipe on the screen to take a screenshot. To enable this palm swipe, all you need to do is go to the settings, tap on advanced features, tap on motions and gestures. Here you will see an option palm swipe to capture. Just enable this. You will be able to take a screenshot when you swipe your palm on the screen. Third method is to tap on screenshot toggle on the quick panel. By default, this toggle or this button will be available on the quick panel. If you don't see it, just tap on edit quick panel and then add the screenshot button to the quick panel. That's the third method. Fourth simple method is just asking the Bixby to take a screenshot. Bixby. Take a screenshot. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now, if you don't like Bixby, you can also ask the Google Assistant to take a screenshot on your phone. Hey Google, take a screenshot. Okay, taking a screenshot. You see the screenshot is taken and it's available on the notification panel as well. We are done with the fifth method. Now let's move on to the sixth one. We can use One Hand Operation Plus application to take a screenshot. Let's open One Hand Operation Plus. You see, I can assign different functions for these handles. I got left handle and right handle. Let me just tap the right handle. I will select diagonal up and here I can select screenshot. Now when I swipe up from the right edge of the screen, the phone takes the screenshot. And this function can be assigned for different swipes on the one hand operation plus. You can use diagonally up, diagonally down, straight left, straight right from the left edge of the screen. Any directions from both the edge of the screens, you can set up screenshot option. That is the sixth one. Now the seventh one is again using a good lock module called NAV star or nav star. Now for this method to work, you need to turn on the navigation button instead of swipe gestures. So once you have set the navigation buttons, enable NAV star and select buttons tab and turn it on. Now just tap on new configuration and then tap on button layout. Here you've got an option add button. This is where we can add screen capture option onto the navigation buttons. Now I'll just select the screen capture. It has been added to the left bottom corner. I'll tap on done and tap on save. Now this configuration has been saved right here at the bottom. I will just select this and you see we have got the screenshot button right here on the navigation buttons. Just tap on that to take the screenshot. If you're using this navigation button instead of swipe gestures, this option or this method will come in handy. The next method is using the smart select feature. Now on the edge panel you see, we have got the smart select panel on which we have got rectangle and oval shape options. And using this, we will be able to take screenshot of a particular portion on the screen. If you don't find this panel, just open the edge panel and tap on the settings option. Here you will be able to see a list of available panels. Just add the smart select panel. Using this method, we can precisely select a particular portion of the screen, which is much more convenient at times. And using the smart select feature, we will also be able to pin that particular screenshot we have taken and multitask by opening the other applications on the home screen and also capture the text from that particular screenshot and copy it and paste it any way we want. Those tools also are available right here on the screen when you take a screenshot using the smart select feature. We can use register module on GoodLock to take a screenshot by back tapping on the phone twice or thrice. To do that, all you need to do is just go to GoodLock, open the register module. Here you will see back tap action, just tap on that. You've got double tap and triple tap options. Just tap on one of them and assign take screenshot option. Whenever you double tap on the back or triple tap on the back, you will be able to take a screenshot. That's amazing. The ninth method is again using register module. We can assign screenshot action for the side key as well on register. Just by pressing and holding on the side key, you will be able to take a screenshot if you have assigned this action on this module. The last method to take a screenshot is by adding the assistant button on the screen. Just go to settings, tap on accessibility features. Here you have interaction and dexterity. Here, enable this assistant menu option. By doing that, you will get an assistant button right on the home screen. You see this button here? I can just tap on that to get some options. Here we've got screenshot option. Just tap on that to take a screenshot. Now this button can be further customized and you can set various different functions on this particular assistant button. As you can see, we've got select items 
you can select the one you want. These are 10 different methods to take a screenshot on Samsung Galaxy phone, which is just insane. Let me know which is your favorite one, which feature do you use to take a screenshot on your phone? Drop a comment and while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel to know your phone better. We are reaching closer to 100K with your support. This is possible. So go ahead, subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.